Hi, everybody. My name is Arno, Senior Technical Artist. And I'm Julian, 3D Technical Artist. In this video series, we'll present to you the easiest way to develop an interactive HMI with the QT tools. In this video, we will learn about the different options to run or export your application. While working on your project, you always have the option to run the app directly in your desktop environment. For that, you only need to press this big play button right beside the home button. When you press that button, your complete app will be run on your desktop. So you can see if your interactions are working correctly and that your graphical assets will be rendered correctly. Next to the play button, we also have a button called live preview. Here you can also start your app on the desktop environment. The big difference here is that you not only start the whole app, but you can also just start one of the components. So if I go here into the cluster art and maybe into the speed dial, I can start with the live preview, only this component. Now we can see only the component will be rendered. For the next part, we want to test our design directly on the target hardware. For that, we can use the boot to Qt feature. Before we deploy to our target device, we need to install the boot to Qt image on the device. More information on that in our documentation. To test our design, we implemented a few additions to our work here. For example, we have now this switch button, so we can test if our touch interactions are working. And I made a continuous animation for this needle here in the middle. So to deploy to our target, we will select down here our boot to Qt device. After that, we only need to press here the run project and then it will be deployed to our target. After that, we can already see the animation is working and we can test the touch. Everything's fine and that's boot to cute feature. So, how do we get our data into our UI after we imported all our assets and built our interactions and animations? We will show you how you are able to export your designs to your project to Qt Creator. For that, just go to File, Export Project, Generate CMake Build Files. While exporting, there will be some changes to your project. Additionally, to the UI QML files you previously had while working in Design Studio, you now also have pure QML files and additionally files called CMake lists. The UI QML files are specifically meant for work on the UI. So we have a separation layer here. When you want to open your project in Qt Creator, just search for the project folder. And here you just have to open the CMake list file. Then you will be asked which kit should be used for that project. No worries, you can change that later on. For now, we will just go with the pre-selected boot to Qt for Raspberry Pi and select also a desktop option. 
Now the project is configurating. So we converted now our project to work in the Qt Creator. If the designer wants to make changes to his work, he's still able to. He is able to open the project in the design studio and still make changes. Now your project is ready to get its backend or to be connected with an already existing backend. We wish you a happy learning experience and we will provide you with different links in the video description.